Welcome back to the channel. Stefan here with All American Print Supply. Coming to you from Print United 2023. Got a really exciting video today. We're gonna to show you everything you need to know to have the proper efficiency for your DTG, DTF workflow. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. If you have any questions anything we go over, got the comment section down there for that. Now right here, I got the Epson F2270, the latest in hybrid direct-to-garment, direct-to-film printing. We're gonna show you exactly how it's done pro style. Whether you're running Garment Creator 2 or DigiRip, clicking over and switching between DTG and DTF is super fast. So let's go ahead and start by loading our film onto our platen here. Secure this in place. All I'm gonna do is grab my artwork, drop this into the software, like so. Boom, and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and size this out. We're gonna send the job. Now, one of my favorite parts about using a direct-to-garment printer to run direct-to-film, this is gonna be by far the lowest amount of maintenance you're looking at any DTF machine on the market. Epson is really good at delivering quality and quantity. That was fast. Perfect alignment, perfect registration. Now, one of the most important parts about direct-to-film printing is gonna be the application and removal of the hot melting powder. The very best way to do this is gonna be with the Seismo S20. Let's show you how it works. I'm gonna place my film with the wet ink facing outward, use my media guides to position this in the machine. Now, you wanna make sure you have even application only where it's needed, the right amount and precise. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Now we're gonna apply the powder. This machine is gonna apply the right amount of the melting powder and it removes it. We do not want any powder around our image. And the very best way to dry our freshly printed and powdered DTF transfer, well, of course, would be the Phoenix Air. Let's go ahead and throw it in, show you how this works. Turn on my filter, turn on my oven. All right, let's not stick around twiddling our thumbs. While that's cooking in the oven, let's show you true hybrid printing. Now I have a pre-treated garment we're gonna load onto the F2270, just like so. Lock this into place with the hoop. Let's print some DTG. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Let's switch over to t-shirt mode. Grab some artwork. Size this out. Send the print. Job sent into the machine. Once it's received on here, go ahead and hit our start button. Let's go check on that transfer. Look at that texture. Look at that gloss. Everything working together in true maximum efficiency. Hybrid direct to garment, direct to film printing, Seismo S20, and the Phoenix Air. Let's go press this on a shirt. Quick pre-press, lay those fibers down nice and flat. <clears throat> and all the while, my direct-to-garment machine is still producing that t-shirt in the background. If it's a cotton shirt, a polyester polo, a windbreaker, cover all your bases, hybrid DTG, DTF printing made easy. Now let's get this cured up. Mm -hmm. 
maximum productivity. We got DTF coming out. We got DTG coming out. And with the S20 and the Phoenix Air, everything is working together. All my equipment, like a chef in a kitchen. That's how it's done. Now imagine if you had two Prisma Auto Clamp 16 by 20 heat presses. You're switching between DTG. You're printing out your DTFs. Maximum efficiency. Mass made in heaven with the Seismo S20, the Phoenix Air, your Epson direct to garment slash direct to film printer. What more could you ask for? Now, if you have any questions on any of the steps we've gone over, any of the equipments in today's video, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that red button for us. We've got a lot more coverage going on here. Pretty United 2023, all the trade show season. Make sure you guys stick around, hang out, drop some thumbs up. Go see what else we can find over here. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.